Thank you everyone for coming. How many of you guys came here from out of town? Wow, really not very many of you. <laughs> but that's great because Wander is great for both out of town people and local people. Um, if you are from out of town, um, Wander can find you all of the best things to do in anywhere. Um, and if you're local, it's gonna find you things that you've never ever known about before. And I promise you because I've done it before. Um, but before I go in too in depth with Wander, let me just talk to you about who I am. My name is Natalie Dowd. I'm a student, or I was a student at the University of Minnesota when I developed this, or when I designed this app. Uh, and I actually worked with three U of M students um, to develop it, who have all now been hired on by Amazon. Um, our app won the University of Minnesota's app contest, and we've been working pretty constantly for the past two years to get it out in the App Store, and I am very pleased to tell you that you can take your 99 pennies and turn those into an adventure or 20, because when you wander, you discover things. And so the first thing that you're going to do um, when you open up the app is it's going to give you an adventure right here. And I apologize because the colors are going to be a little bit weird on this screen. But um, if you go to the App Store and download Wander Wheel, uh, you can try it out on your own too. Um, but what happens is you'll find um, that first it's going to tell you to go to, um, you know, it's going to give you a route. And the first one on our itinerary is Darby's Pub and Grill. Um, and, you know, I'll say... My next route is Pizza Luce. Well, those, you know, may, maybe I'm actually not so interested in, um, you know, may, maybe I've got a bigger budget than that. And um, philosophically, Wander only goes to $50 because we all know that you can have a lot of fun with a lot of money, but Wander is not about that. Wander is about having a lot of fun on your own. And so the most I can say is I have $50. I'm going to walk there. Um, and I'll say, you know, I don't really need coffee, but I'm going to get drinks. And you adjust all of your preferences. And now the one, this is the part that you're going to change depending on whether you live in the place where you're wandering or whether you're from out of town. And so if you're from out of town, or, you know, anyone can, can choose either one. But if you're from out of town, you're going to pick the local highlights. Sorry, that's this one. And um, you'll find things like the walker. You'll find things like um, the the park to go to, um, or the, I, you know, I don't remember. I'm on stage here. <laughs> the gold medal park, that one. But if I go all the way over to Hidden Gems, it's going to find me things that I've never found before. And um, let's just do that right now and see what happens. And, um, you know, while it's finding us a route, um, I'm going to talk to you about a little bit of our future plans with Wander. Um, because Oh, here, you know, it found us a route. Um, the first thing is Mill City Museum. And then we're going to go to Mill Ruins Park and the Comedy Corner Underground. Now, that's all fine. I know about all those places, but here's the part where it get in gets interesting. And this is really the part that um, you're really not going to find anywhere else. Um, I made, um, well, m me along with um, a handful of other quirky people like me, made a, just an, a very exhaustive list of ridiculous fun things to do at places. So the first thing is it's going to tell you to convince someone that you know one of the artists at Mill City Museum. Um, and if you do that, you know, you'll, you'll tweet it. And um, our plans with this is we really want to turn these into um, real Point, you know, everybody tries to gamify things, but the points don't mean anything. But what we want to do is we want to make um, Wander so that you can gain street cred. You know, if, if I know a lot about my location, if I input all of this type of data that's very difficult for me to find, like, you know, times that a restaurant is open, or if I can input great ideas for somebody to do, then I'm going to be able to um, be trusted with more information, like deleting a location or adding a location. Um, and so that's for version 2.0, which we're working on um, really soon here. And, you know, you'll get an adventure like find a puddle and look at it for one minute. You know, they're not necessarily things you have to do, but the whole point of Wander is to get you out of your bubble, to get you something to do, and to really just take advantage of those moments where you're, hesitant, you're just completely paralyzed with indecision. Um, and so, um, you know, that, that's how Wander works right now. Um, and, I, you know, I, I'd like to tell you all of the things that we're planning on doing, but some of those 
we're not necessarily talking about. Um, but, um, you know, I, I know that a lot of you guys are tech enthusiasts, so you're probably going to want to know how we're doing this. Um, right now, we're pulling our data from Foursquare. And so we take Foursquare's information, like how many people have checked in, um, or um, the ratings that they give it, or the categories, and we take those and put those into our algorithm um, based on your preferences and your time and your location, and we find you a perfect route for you. Um, and we're working on optimizing the algorithms. We're working about on making it faster. And we're also working on an Android version. I know I've had a lot of people out there tell me, like, this sucks. It's only on iPhone. Um, the, the, the number one um, comment, actually, in the App Store right now, I love it. Um, one star. This is one of those times that I wish that I could rate an app with negative stars. Um, all it did was find me. Uh, a Walgreens, a $5 store, which, how many of us have gone to a $5 store? That sounds pretty cool. And a theater. That's not an adventure, that's my life. <laughs> well, clearly some of us can't have an adventure if it's forced on our throats. But, <laughs> you know, the great thing about Wanda is you don't actually have to do all of the things that it tells you to do. The whole point is to be like a starting point so that after you do this, you say, hey, you know, maybe I will like go stack a bunch of leaves. I don't know why, but I just wanted to add some spark of fun into everybody's life, and I really hope to be able to continue doing it for a lot longer. All of my developers have now been hired on by Amazon, as I've said, so we are looking for iOS developers, and we're also looking for funding for version 2.0. Uh, if anyone has to talk to me about either of those things, find me afterward. Um, but we are really excited about the future of it, and um, we are continually still updating or upgrading, uh, working on it right now, and we have a series of comics that's going to tell you exactly how to use it. So if you go to wanderwheel.com, you can learn more. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Yeah.